Our main goal was to help practicing supply managers navigate the ever-increasing number of emerging technologies that are being written about by consultants and white papers and the popular press and try to understand what people are actually doing with those technologies, what's working, what's not, which ones they need to be worried about now, which ones maybe they can wait a little while for. So I'm Andrea Prudhomme at um, Ohio State University in the Department of Management Sciences. And my area of expertise is production planning, SNOP, and general supply chain. So I'm John Gray at the Fisher College of Business at Ohio State University. Uh, my areas of expertise include outsourcing, offshoring, reshoring, um, and supply management. What we found is that the technologies aren't necessarily disruptive, but they're actually going to enhance the work that people are doing currently, making that work a little bit more efficient, a little bit more effective, and freeing people up to not spend quite as much time on tactical activities and spend some more time on those value-add strategic activities. So if you aren't using these emerging technologies in some of these emerging technologies in supply management, uh, it's likely that you're going to fall behind in efficiency and effectiveness. Yeah. I think RPA came out as one that really almost everybody should be implementing somewhere. It's it's basically automating computer-based processes, is similar to automating a manufacturing process. It's like a big Excel macro. Nobody really talked about it as a tool for headcount reduction. It was really for creating um, opportunities to do more meaningful, more impactful work. And, and some uh, examples we heard were actually bringing work offshore back to kind of the headquarters of the corporate procurement office um, by automating the more manual tasks. And every person said they had more problems and issues to deal with in the procurement organization than they had time to deal with. So anything they could do to free up capacity was used towards that. I think cleaning clean data and clean processes are necessary for any of these implementations as well as a business case and a business problem to be solved. Like the old technologies, e-auctions, et cetera, there should be a clear reason to be implementing them uh, not just, oh, I've heard about this technology, it sounds cool. It might seem overwhelming to organizations and they might feel like they have to do everything. So I think the, the research that we did can help them kind of understand what's appropriate for them right now and how they could maybe start small and work their way forward. We feel like the really cutting edge companies, a lot of it will be validation. Um, they'll be, okay, these are the main technologies that people are talking about. Or, There's nothing else I have to worry about. Or, okay, I was right not to do blockchain, you know. Uh, yet. Uh, the big thing that our report does that a lot of the uh, white papers from consulting firms, et cetera, don't do is kind of an unbiased way looks at the emerging technologies and how they're really being used. This, I think, can really help speed up practicing managers' ability to decide what they should be working on now and, and decide what they can wait on.